Mm -hmm. Yash yeah, Chain Maya. Yash means green and Che Wood, the green wood. Shibalba. Shibalba was the, the underworld. Mm. And Shibalba level used to have Nile. That's why Nile Rouge. Mm. That's why the Kukulkan Temple, which today is one of the new seven wonders of the world, they build it with Nile terraces. Why representing mm. the chair by Rouge and Shibalba? Why? The idea was uh, the lower class belief the Sangha job was to go to Shibalba once a year to get back the Renga and the Kuanga, the Maiz God from Shibalba. Okay? Mm -hmm. The lower class used to interpret the winter solstice that way. You know, mm -hmm. so today we know why the, the winter solstice, the longest night, the dry season and everything. But mm -hmm. back in those times, only the ruler had information about it. And mm -hmm. to explain that to the lower class, they had to use gods. Mm. Sun for you and me to free the corn gap mm. and after that the summer solstice, mm. the plenty of time, language day, rainy season and everything, okay? Mm. That's why the family who used to explain that in this place was Itza. Uh. That's why Chichen Itza, okay? Mm -hmm. So Itza is a last name. Mm. Until today in Yucatan state, there are some families with that last name, Itza. Mm. Okay, Itza and Maya, that means magicians. Oh. and mm. hot water the water magicians mm. why okay. because they were astronomers mm. so they could predict the rainy season and dry season mm. that knowledge is power so mm. the Ita family realized that information we can use it to control who the lower class with that so they start mm. manipulating the lower class with that why because mm. they could satisfy the, the lower class needs with that information mm. so the lower class thought well they, they were magicians or at least they have a good relationship with the gods because every time when they start telling us the planting time is they rain you know? Mm. I don't know about that because magicians, magic, but no, they were astronomers. Interesting. Let me show you the map of the site. Ah, question, question. Um, Kuku Khan. After this, the Spanish came. So it's not an old city like Tikal, like Koba, like Ishmael. This is new. That's mm. why in all the books or documentals, you can find it that way, new Chichen Itza, you know? They use that in all the Mayan sites, Tikal, Koba, Chichen Itza, Tulum. They have the same idea about their background, okay? So this is the, the corn god, this is the sun god, this is Venus, this is the god of death. Mm. In astronomy, my friends, this is the Sun, this is Venus, this is Mercury, this is Jupiter, and the total back is the Orion Belt, the astronomy. They started observing the sky and they saw up there seven beautiful stars. Today we know five of them are planets, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn, so the Sun and the Moon, seven. Okay? And obviously Natchez, them saw the, the stars the Romans, the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Incas, yeah. Hindu culture. That's why the number seven is considered like the lucky number, the perfect number, Kabbalistic number, because mm. all of them, they saw the same sky. Mm. That's why they represent that, the stars, through those temples. Mm. Well, each temple is representing one star. Mm. So they, they make like a, the sky mirror right here. Mm. Okay? So that's why in this religion place, nobody used to live. We're gonna see only temples, not houses. Mm. The ruler houses, they build them around the ceremonial center, not inside. Okay? Mm. So Chi is mouth. Shem is synoptic because it's well. The mouth of the well. In the other way, the well, you that the entrance well. to the mm. Oh, well. So that's why the Kukulkan mm. temple, they align it with the synoptic. Guess mm. what? Once a year, it's possible to see until today how Kukulkan start coming down from his temple to Shibalba. Mm. What the Mayan knew is the planting time. Mm. When that event happened on March 21st, during the first equinox. Mm. Because the other equinox show us the, the harvest time. Mm. So the building was used as a calendar. But mm. so the lower cut was a temple. Mm. Normally, when you get in a Mayan site, like in Tikal, Kuba, Ekbalam, you're going to find writings, hieroglyphics, mm. explaining the king's life, you know, explaining their life. And, um, the, the lower class, they recorded everything, the time when they meet him, the time when they born, the time when they die, you know. And like Vikings, the, the king house 
was the place where everybody used to be there to celebrate the God victorious, you know. Mm. So they make parties in, in, in the king house. Mm -hmm. But in Chichen Itza it was different. Nobody lived here. Mm. But the place was built especially for the lower class. That's why during the tour we're going to see only image figures symbols, mm -hmm. no writings, which mm -hmm. it was a very easy language to understand for the long time. Interesting. So they, yeah. That's why Chichen Itza was a religion place, mm -hmm. like the Vatican in Rome, like the Mecca in Jerusalem. But don't forget this, mm -hmm. we have two different ways to see it, okay? from upper class and from lower class. Lower class religion place, upper class, uh, a, a place to know about the weather, the agriculture cycle, mm -hmm. knowledge, information. Mm -hmm. you know? So the population exactly, exactly. Mm. That's so the population was over than sixty thousand people. So ninety nine percent was lower class and mm. only one percent was upper mm. A small group controlling the masses with Same thing. knowledge is <laughs> today. Like that today. Yeah. So don't forget when they build it, nine hundred to twelve hundred acres. Okay? Mm. So let's walk inside to see them. Arriving in this place, they realize no mountains here because Yucatan is flat. So what happened? Mm. They made them. They made artificial mountains wow. to represent you know, the ruling houses. They got houses. Mm. So the Kukulkan temple for them was a mountain. Okay, they never saw it like a like a pyramid, like a castle, mm. like a tower. Mm. Those concepts came to in the 1910s. The first archaeologists they came from Europe. So the Europeans, when they saw that building, they thought maybe the Egyptians built it. Mm -hmm. or maybe it was a castle or it was a tower mm. you know that's why they make a lot of mistakes <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you learn you learn. shake your head it's chichen itza you know, chichen itza was the name of the whole site so the temple looks like i told you before it has a nice area nice huge area it's very good the chibalba level so twice a year the triangle appears on this side Mm. forming a snake body ending perfectly over one snake hand located at the bottom oh. See? Mm -hmm. so it looks like a like a giant snake yeah, <laughs> do you mind if i take a picture no, of that no, real quick right. 10 fingers plus 10 toes makes 20. No. so 13 times 20 makes 260 days so mm. 260 days is almost nine months human sensation like mm -hmm. okay. okay. mm -hmm. so that event is related until today with that with the fertility time why? Because we're still using it for plenty of harvest. Mm -hmm. Now, the logical explanation of this one, friend, is very easy. The, the north door is pointing through north. So where's the north here? It's in that direction. North, south, east, and west. Mm -hmm. Something interesting and weird. Those mm -hmm. nine corners on your left side are pointing the magnetic north. Ah. And oh. back in those times, no magnetic, back in those times, no compass, because the compass always points that magnetic north. Right. So the base of that temple is pointing magnetic north, and the chamber is pointing to north. How they knew about it, we don't know that. Okay? <laughs> anyway, the base of that temple is twisted a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's why when sun set in the middle for 30 p.m., the sunlight is start passing well through those night corners. So the ah. reflection of them, you're going to see that on Stone, wow. stone ramp. So cool. Imagine the each a family thinking about it. Mm. You know, thinking how we can make that, how we can make that project to make the snake reflection to each, you know. Mm. Of course my friends the idea was to impress the lower class because all of them were concentrated in this class. Mm -hmm. And they were thinking the Sultan is coming down and before to go in the in the underworld he would talk with the rulers because the rulers were standing right here next mm. to the snake head. Mm. So when the shadow gonna disappear the rulers they start sharing the gun message with the lower class. Yeah. That's when the manipulation is mm -hmm. He talk with the snake, he told us he needs more temples, he needs more mm -hmm. taxes. The lower yeah. class yeah. just gonna bait them because they were watching that. Yeah, yeah. That his power. So now it's very hard to know if the Africans believe in their gods or they just mm -hmm. use them. Mm -hmm. But if we compare that with today, it's very similar. Right? Yeah. We have groups, we have leaders, we have Polit politicians, you know, and mm. we have good and bad leaders, mm. like the Mayan time. Mm. Okay, now inside of that building is empty. Okay, okay, there's some carvings only related with the each gods. Mm. But during the rituals, when the high priest was standing uh, 
and align it with the doorways they could make these uh, beautiful Quetzal. acoustic mm. Quetzal, Quetzal sounds mm. ah. so with their drums of roots they could make the Quetzal sound and of course the idea was the lower class believe the bird is inside the chamber ah. you can see it but you can hear it you know? mm -hmm. so what happened after that the, the rulers came up on the chamber with their beautiful headdresses mm. and they start sharing the gun message to them and again more mm. yeah. message, you know? let's see it please let's see it. and there is a doorway you can see it yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. so the, the building is about like i told you before the building was a pyramid that's mm. why they, they thought uh, they could find man inside the there's nothing. No, exactly not. Zero. <laughs> Why? Because it was not a tomb. It was a calendar. But inside, they found another temple. Oh. Yeah. So the Mayans normally every 52 years they start building new temples around the older ones. Oh. Wow. Because for them, 52 years was the end of one cycle and the wow. beginning of a new one. What's the name of the cycle? The cycle is a how. Okay. And actually, if you look on the sides, we have nine corners. Yeah. Uh, on that side plus nine here makes 18 like mm. the solar calendar months okay mm. look 26 sun campanas in this side plus mm. 26 in the other side mm. again making 52 with that which is the the end of that cycle or era we have that celebration on 2012 we celebrate the end of that era on ah. 2012 but and the west got a lot too, of people right? thought you know mm. the mind they were here because they were looking for answers mm. in their mind they had questions like how when why you know? how they get here mm. so the ruler rulers they start guiding them telling them the corn god the rain god the god of death and giving with that explanation some kind of identity mm -hmm. to them you know mm. so that's why amigos on top they start making performance okay, related with that uh, interpretation mm. so um, musicians up there uh, high priests uh, wearing like a jaguar helmet or the kind of that helmet Okay, yeah. explaining to the lower class about the, the life. It's very interesting because it's like us. When we went in the school, we learn how we get here, you know, mm -hmm. the evolution, the homo sapiens. Mm -hmm. Religion explains us another thing, Adam and Eve, the snake, the apple. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting because both are just theories. But yes. with those two theories, yeah. we stop uh, asking more about our origins. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we had the answer something happened up there mm. so today we have um, st things you know where we can see or, or learn like like, like propaganda mm. like TV like Facebook like Instagram mm. telling us what to do not to do how to dress what yeah, kind yeah. of philosophy we have to follow you know kidding, controlling the masses with information something yep. happened up there Mm. That's why the uh -huh. Greek theaters, that's why the Roman theaters, you know, mm. to control masses with that, like education. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, Media. the Temple of the Warriors up there, over there, for ahead, it's interesting because Toltecs. Toltecs was another Mexican culture, don't forget that. And yeah. it's not Maya, it's, it's uh, from Mexico City, Central Mexico. Uh -huh. mm. So, the Toltec was a warrior culture when uh, they start making business with each family they they uh, taught them how to control people with fear mm -hmm. because normally the Toltecs use that is to their gods like an offering mm -hmm. okay so that's why uh, the aztecs and toltecs both used to practice the human sacrifice mm -hmm. today we know the mayans adopted but not as a human sacrifice it was using more like a public execution. Okay? Mm. So this mural was founded inside. Mm. Why? Toltecs start uh, uh, using the Itza salt to, to keep the, the meat fresh. Right. And the Itza family used the obsidian Toltecs to make their weapons to work the limestone, to use the obsidian like sunglasses to watch the sun to, to them, you know. Mm. And also, mm. they start meeting another uh, tribes yeah. where thanks to them, they, they, they could see the jade, gold, silver, quartz, turquoise. You know, so the Itza family always used salt from the ocean to pay for those stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I told you before, they took salt from the from the coast of Yucatan. Yeah. So not just the Maya used that as as their currency. Mm -hmm. The the Egyptians, 
the Romans, the Indian culture as well. Mm. That's why until today we're still using this word salary, salario. Oh, wow. Salary because the first culture they start trading wow, without the payment was you know, done with salt. So so that's why wow, the Toltecs combined yeah. their culture with them. Mm. Okay, mm. and what happened? They start making that, my friends. But believe mm. me, the guy up there dying, he was a ruler but not from the Itza family tribe. Mm. It belonged to another Mayan tribe. Mm. Maybe a ruler from Koba, from Tulu, from Ushmal, another Mayan side. Uh -huh. so, but why is dying up there? Because maybe he just betrayed them or lied them. Because mm. next to the square pillars, we have round columns. That was the marketplace. Mm. So inside is where they make business with different uh, kingdoms. Mm. You know, And after to eat with them, or drink with them, they give them like a tour where through that building showing to them their military power. So mm -hmm. we, look what I got for you if you lie me or betray me. Mm -hmm. You know, so they were showing showing to them also this. Ah, the murals. So they were manipulating them with that mm -hmm. fear. As we know today we can control a group or a society with fear or with knowledge. Both mm -hmm. are effective at the mm -hmm. end board of that control power. Okay? Mm -hmm. So Besides that, the, the lower class, my friends, they could they couldn't recognize them, the rulers. Why? Because back in those times, the upper class, they made this before to be rulers. This will be like um, hmm. their um, initiation, you know, hmm. to start be a rulers, to start their education. So their parents, they took like a wooden boards and they start putting on the yeah. baby's foreheads. When wow. this is soft, when this is yeah, not yeah, close yeah, yet, yeah. it's to mold it. So when they <gasps> become adults, their heads, they're going to look like hey, that. Like the Egyptian. They look like this, like oh, the Egyptians, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they made that because they want to look like the, the snake head, mm. like the jaguar head, for example. Mm. They want to look different than the lower class. Yeah. Interesting. You know? yeah. So that's why the lower class down here, they couldn't recognize this guy dying because his feature like the cone head so mm. they thought it's like it looked like like one of them you know so mm. the it's a family they are offering their life to the gods you know mm. and to make it more interesting mm. uh, the ruler choose days to make that okay they start inviting the lower class to be here and when this place was full was crowded is when the ritual started after mm. the high priest dancing playing their drums uh, drinking, you know, calling the sun guy with a loud noise, you mm. know, and the people they were follow following them, you know, they were following them. So the sun god, guess what, appears in front of the crowd like this. Look what happened during the summer solstice wow. on June 21st. Wow. The sun comes behind of the the building right in the middle through the columns. Yeah. The wow. first lights they're gonna start hitting who the upper class standing mm. up there, okay, and the lower class. They're gonna think, well, it's Kukulkan there. Yeah. And he's there because we call him. Mm. And he's emerging from where? From the underworld. Mm. That's why he's tired, starving, thirsty. And the Itza family, they're gonna feed him with this. Wow. So, mm. three days after that, or a week after that, what happened? The rain is still coming. And the lower class, they're gonna think the rain is because the gods are happy. The Itza satisfy the gods' needs. Crazy. The true is the rainy season yeah okay they didn't know that my friends yeah, yeah. Just wow. so the upper class they always keep the lower class busy mm. working in the construction in the quarries in the cornfields why because they just realize if the lower class stop working they start thinking they start making questions okay that's yes. why they keep them always busy mm. that's why from the marketplace they control their economy from the temple of the warrior their politics mm. okay Scientists from this building, religion from that building over there, that's what the Mayan church. That's why if we compare this Mayan site with a modern city, guess what? It's the same thing, nothing has changed. Mm. It doesn't matter the place, it doesn't matter the country. Always in one downtown, we're gonna see around the main plaza, the church, the cathedral. Mm. In the other side, we're gonna see the governor palace. In the other side, we're gonna see the mall, the bank. We don't live in the marketplace, we don't live in the church, we live around 
Yeah. So we're still using those power, religion, science, economy, politics, education. Okay. <laughs> wow. So it's very interesting because not just the, the Maya used them, the Greeks, the Roman, the Egyptians, the Incas, the Aztecs, the Indo culture, culture from Asia. Well, the you know, and yeah. they never see each other. Right. It, it's yeah. interesting because yeah. apparently, I don't know, maybe a group or one person give to the, all of them like a manual, you know, how to yeah. make a civilization. Right. Right. Because if we talk about the two brothers, Venus and Sun, in mm -hmm. the Greek mythology, Zeus, Hades. Mm -hmm. Roman, Roman or Rem. Mm -hmm. Egyptians, Set and Osiris. Mm -hmm. Vikings, Thor and Loki. Mm -hmm. Christianity, Evil and Cain. It's the mm. same thing, you know, similarity. Wow. Yeah, so same story. To see so what, is, what, what is the truth? What is the truth? And the jungle took this place. And the root of the priest move and destroy part of it. Mm. That excavation is recently, only eight years ago. Let me show you. Going down, we don't know how far they go. You know why? Because archaeologists stopped working first, stopped digging. They realized in the time they were removing the foundation from those temples. Oh, those temples took time, you know. So that's why they put it back the stones. They use a special concrete to bolt this part of the soil is still collapsing it, you know. So that's why, my friends, from here we can see only a roof from one building. Hmm. Maybe a building like that size could be the temple, or maybe like the building that's outside. We don't know that. You know? So it's still, but it, it keeps going, it can keep going. It, it, it keeps going, exactly. Now, that also proves that I told at the beginning that this building is not the original ground level, it's archaeology. Mm -hmm. Because it's the same thing, you know, they use the same materials, the same materials, and they use the same materials, 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 Mm. That's why in some books you're gonna find it like that. New Ch uh, old Chichen Itza, new Chichen Itza, or mm. pure Maya, Maya and Toltec because the combination of mm. Okay, two different tribes, two different cultures. Now, so that is a uh, that is a new excavation <laughs> that okay, we so, uh, Okay, and you can see like the like corners. <laughs> Same technique used with that with those corners, or the one like round corners. Okay, so that is. Where? This is called Oh, you wanna? Mm -hmm. okay. so they, they will ever start. They, they probably just won't start it back up again. Archaeologists actually told us that they're gonna use the ultrasound machines. Yeah, yeah. to see, yeah. Probably safer, right? Like, uh -huh. yeah, don't have because to destroy. Usmal is another Mayan ruins. Usmal mm -hmm. is nearby to Merida. So, archaeologists discover it's more temple underneath of the Ushmal temple like that mm. and they make a mistake because they stop removing it so what happened the Ushmal building doesn't collapse but scratch in the middle oh. why because they were removing the foundation yeah. mm. so avoid that probably again they stop doing yeah. that here interesting okay so the temp so the oh, okay. platform it was covered with that stone what type of stone is okay. it limestone limestone, limestone. Okay. limestone. Okay. Look at the pigment blue on the corner, very, very corner. Blue or green around the carbon yeah, yeah. That's why we know that it was painted with different colors. So it was a performance stage before, beside to worship Venus, okay? Now let's see uh, the ball field. The ball field. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I think after we can just come back around to whichever one. You know? From the Chichen Itza citizens. So the Itza family had uh, a civilization because they they made civilizing people living with them. In this case, um, the lower class knew what happened if one of them breaks the rules. Oh, yeah. You know, like if one of the poor people uh, kill a person or steal something or make blasphemes against the gods, the punishment to do that was death. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why on top they put like a wood sticks. Mm -hmm. They start impaling, you know, the, 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 the head, like the skeleton, the heads, like like a punishment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if we saw on top of the temple of the warrior, the punishment against rulers, rulers against rulers, this will be rulers against lower class. Okay. 
It's very similar to the medieval time with the public execution, mm -hmm. uh, hanging people alive, burning them alive on public to control them with fear. That's why they build it in this public space so everybody must to see what happened if some of them break the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay? So Simple. the skulls, <laughs> if you look, are in vertical position. Okay? Believe it or not, this is necessary if we wanted to make a civilization. We need rules. All that's why we have constitutions, you know, Mexican constitution, United States constitution, China constitution, constitution everywhere, law everywhere, you know, so that's why. 1970s archaeologists thought this was a cemetery because the skulls, when they dug down, they didn't find any bones. Why? Because no cemetery in this country. So when somebody died from the upper and lower class, the bodies were buried underneath of their house. Why? The mind always thought like this. Their bones was made of what? Corn. So they were planting the bones like they used to plant the corn seeds to grow up. It's just a metaphor related with reincarnation, life after death. Mm -hmm. Okay? Come this way, please. It's not that. It's not a ball field, okay? <laughs> Actually, this building was using by the Maya to represent Shibalba, the underworld. Mm -hmm. That's why the floor is lower, okay? Mm -hmm. If we take those two walls, that we put them together, we're gonna get what? Another mountain, like the main temple. Mm -hmm. So this would be like an open mountain or like a half mountain. Mm -hmm. So the sun got to get in Shibalba, he needs to pass through that hole over there, the ring. Oh, yeah. Then he will fight again at the head of the right here, looking for the exit in the other ring with his brother. Right. So that's why look, east, sunrise, sun west, sunset. The day, the night, the day, the night, the duality comes. Mm -hmm. The good side and the bad side, okay? The high priest place was that building up there. So he was up there and his job was to select the best witches. The best of the best to participate in this ritual, okay? So, um, after he choose them, he starts select them. He split them into groups. Because one of those groups is going to represent the good side and the other group the bad side. It doesn't matter if we are in the bad group team or side. Why? Because at the end, my friends, all of them they knew how this ritual is going to end winning always to the good side always Venus and the Sun God they're gonna win this this, this match okay mm -hmm. so what do matter them to worship them to worship the gods it was something symbolic only okay so one of those group was standing below that ring another group there and they could run like that back and forth mm -hmm. okay so let me show you this please come here so one time was here, he was the capitation. The sun had hanging down because he's holding it from the hair, and the sun is holding a knife, which that is Venus. It's Venus. Hmm. Okay, the two brothers fighting again of the God of Okay, there's two more. There is a when I work with the Indo culture, also the same things because the, the skull there is like a movies for the Egyptians, mm. for like Hades for the Greeks. Mm -hmm. So the Indo culture was uh, Shiva. Mm -hmm. Shiva was a uh, god related with the destructions. Mm -hmm. But for them, Shiva is necessary if mm. you want to get the order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to visit Shiva and then the order will come. It's yeah. the same things there. Mm. Same idea, same concept with the god of death. In this case, in Maya, Apuch was the name of the god. Apuch. Apuch. Okay? Mm. So, um, Look at up there the red color. So everything was painted with red color. Those two oh, yeah. snake heads, one of them is facing the north and the other in the south. Why? Sunrise north, summer solstice, sunrise south, winter solstice. Dry season, rainy season. Okay? Well, I told you why Chichen Itza was abandoned because of civil war. Okay? And don't forget also the culture never died. And the Maya, the Maya, our independence, they still speak in Maya. So we're still, we're still keeping our tradition. Okay? Now, a uh, question, my friends, about this. Now you're going to have your free time. Mm -hmm. You have to function now. Okay? If you walk 400 meters behind a black green building, you will see the ruling houses, like, like palaces' houses. Okay. You can get there to take pictures and that's it. If you walk 400 meters behind the Venus platform, you will see a cenote. Oh, yeah. Not for swimming, it's just a picture. Okay. Okay. So you can see the sea, you can see it and that come back to the group, okay? So, 
questions because I won't see you again. That's why I need to know if you have any questions about this. Okay. Uh, what is that? Pressure. 